Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. Hatch's Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Ah. Oh, it, I've... It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I, um... I can tell... You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I... After much internal debate, I've come to realize... Revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue. That my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. Brave Tarnished, what is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? Goodness, am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zorias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. Lady Tanith is my mother. I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king. That my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am. But people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me. And so, I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets. Known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else.
I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the Shardbearers vying for power in the wake of the Shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance, even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> Did you see her? The girl, Raya, with her true face. Mm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But as her adoptive mother, I ask of you, please be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. Look at you. A recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. A special invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. Um... Oh! It's you! Forgive me. My mind never ceases to turn of late. Hmm... Well... I know I can trust you. I saw something... slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one, and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent, just like me. Does the Volcano Manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? Ah! Hello, this? You're new here at the manor. But if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> Hello again. Welcome to Patches Import. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the... Our art draws upon the powers embedded in Glinstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glinstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden Amber contains the remnants of ancient life, and houses its vitality, while Glinstone contains residual life, and thus, the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glinstone's sorcery is the study of the stars, and the life therein, a fact lost on most sorcerers these days. I take it you've heard of the eternal city of Noxtella. Well, it has a twin, known as Nokron, the other eternal city. After years of expeditions, we've determined the location of Nokron by going underground 
through the well in the mistwood of Limgrave. You can see Nokron up above. Only we failed to find a path leading to the city. Blythe's made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him quite stumped, to be honest. I'm not sure where to go from here. Blythe is Lady Rani's stepbrother. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. They were always happy to have me tag along as well. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the dark path of the Empyrean, Blythe and I swore allegiance as vassals. But none of us will ever forget our earliest days together. Promise to look after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. Thank <laughs> you.